saw, I'm gonna skin it. Jenny? Wet it, wrap her up, cool. Then I'm right here. physician within miles, no neighbor, nor was she in a condition to be left to summon help. The fever was too great. Jenny. At the end of the third day, she fell into unconsciousness, and so passed away with never a gleam of returning reason. Tomorrow I'll make the coffin. Dig the grave. And then I shall miss you. Tomorrow when you're gone, under from my sight, but not tonight. When you're here and I'm touching you, and I can see you, it's all right. It must be all right somehow, Jenny. Things just can't be as bad as they seem. Some, grief comes like the stroke of an arrow. To others, like the blow of a bludgeon that crushes and numbs. To Murloc, the grief was a bludgeon. The sound that came in through the open window seemed like the long, wailing cry of a lost child in the far depths of the darkening wood. Again, and nearer than before, came the unearthly cry. Perhaps it was a wild beast. Perhaps it was a dream. For Murloc was asleep. as bad as they seem.
Time for the burying. Time for the coffin. Time to say goodbye. Oh, it's nice.